Hi there, welcome back. Well, recently I installed a heat recovery ventilation system into my home. And what I've been wanting to do is have more control over the airflow to individual rooms. So I wanted to find some sort of a damper or valve that I could control in Home Assistant to do this. So today I'm gonna to show you how I've done that. So looking at this diagram, you can see what I'm talking about. You've got the airflow running through these pipes and they show this little damper that either opens or closes based on some form of mechanical actuator. So I came across this one over here. It's really cost effective and it's got quite a few options. My system runs on 76 millimeter ducting, but there are also sections where I have 150 millimeter ducting. You can select between 12 or 24 volts DC and AC 220 volts. I decided to go with a 12 volt because it's safe and easy to work with. So once I'd ordered that, I needed to be able to control it. Now it operates off a three post system. So it has a positive to supply to one of the posts and then you supply the negative to one of the two posts which either open or closes the device. So in order to do this, I needed a relay. So I came across this one, it's an eight channel. Um, the final thing I needed for this was a controller. So I went for an ESP32 dev kit. Having a look at the setup here, we've got the ESP32, which is being powered separately by five volts. From the ESP32, we're running two channels over here into this relay, which can switch on and off two of these relays. The relays are then switching 12 volt power to one side or other side of this valve. So if I now press the switch on my home assistant, to open the valve, it will trigger the relay and the valve will start opening. As you can see, it moves quite slowly, but it's really quiet. Once it's in the fully open stage, I can now press the close valve side. So the moment I press the close valve, you'll see it actually almost carries on opening a little bit, turns around and then starts closing. So this is all automated by the switching within the whatever's controlling that little motor. Setting this up in Home Assistant was super simple. All I did was create a new ESP Home device and I created a switch. So this is a switch with platform GPIO and pin 25 is open valve, pin 26 is closed valve. I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to set up ESP Home devices. So if we now go to this device and we go to my valve device and as you see, I've got two switches here. So I can press that one to close the valve. I can press this one to open the valve. So from here, I can go and create automations to actually open or close the valve or set it to a certain percentage. Setting up the relay was pretty simple. The VCC and ground are connected directly to a 12 volt power supply. And then the input seven and eight for those two relays are connected to pin 25 and 26 of the ESP32. Important thing to remember is that you do need to connect the ground from the ESP32 to the ground pin on the relay as well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed following along with this little project. It's great tinkering around with ESP Home and ESP32 devices. That's all for now. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.